Bryant Stratton College always does a fantastic job. We appreciate their hosting. We certainly appreciate all the great goodies. And uh, I want to um, thank them, obviously, for giving us the space, their hospitality, and uh, giving us some time to share, mingle, and network, because that's what we're really here about. So I'm going to shut up. I thank the Chamber for allowing us to sponsor the event. I also want to take a moment and thank Brenda Hines, and if anybody doesn't know her, I can't believe it, uh, Brenda and the rest of the Brian and Stratton crew for pulling this evening together. It was very nicely done. Um, you all may not be aware, we have been around for 160 years. We're celebrating our 160th anniversary. And no, I have not been with the college that whole time. Um, but we are very employer driven. That's why the chamber relationship is so important to us because we have a history that is, the foundation is our employer relationships. Basically, you all tell us what you want out of employees and then we adjust accordingly. And so we have a really unique opportunity that um, reflects the spirit of being employer driven. We are streaming from Wisconsin. It's the Harley Davis um, museum, right Brenda? Yes. From Wisconsin on October 29th we're doing a summit and we have HR professionals who are coming in doing a leading a panel discussion on the skills gap from what students are learning in the classroom to the workplace. We are hosting this event, this streamlined uh, portion of it, at the campus on the 29th. We have sign-up sheets, it's a limited um, event no cost to you because we value your feedback, but we would love to have you come and participate in this event. So if you want more information, please come up and see Ms. Gloria. And again, I thank you all for being here. And Doug, uh, thank you for allowing me to talk. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, a couple of things I want to recognize some folks who are here. Uh, Jim Roman, member of our board of directors. Jim raised a hand, gives us all kinds of time and great coaching. Uh, we've become a better board as a result of Jim's guidance. We appreciate that. Do we have any other board members here? I'm sorry if I missed anybody. My eyes are not that good. Of course, our staff, Dana Geisler, our president. Dana is the hardest working woman in show business, I guarantee you. Um, I haven't, there's Carol, Carol Taylor, membership director, business development director, right? No, okay, I'm batting a thousand folks. My wife, Sandy Horton, who is temporarily manning the operations management position up front. I'm looking forward to seeing her again. And we have some ambassadors here. Ambassadors, raise your hand. If you're new to the chamber, you're a new member, um, if you're an old member whose business is possibly needs a little expanding, reach out to the ambassadors. One of their roles is to go out and help you make connections. They love to do it. You'll make their day. If you say, hey, I'd really like to meet a realtor. Can you help me find a realtor? Um, that ambassador will say, you know what? Well, I know Suzanne over here and take you and make an introduction. So please keep that in mind. They're here to serve and they do a great job. We always thank them for being here. Uh, we have some events coming up and I'd like Mark, who's right here, Mark Johnson, who's our new events director. Big round of applause. We great door presence, so make sure you guys put some business cards in that fishbowl. Uh, coming up, we have next Wednesday, uh, morning at Partner MD is networking with new members. A uh, great chance for you to do a little pitch for your business. Uh, and if you're new with the chamber, a great chance for you to get out, meet some established members. 
also do a little elevator speech and introduce everybody to what you're doing with your business. Uh, after that, the following Tuesday, we have coffee talk. After hours, a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be after work. Uh, it's actually six steps to growing your business. That's going to be at the Double Tree. The day after that is the monthly luncheon, and that'll be at the usual spot, Sheridan. Uh, we'll be having uh, Trammel versus Brat. Oh, I, I think it's going to be versus. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be friendly. The other with Appropriate separation. There is. It's not going to turn into a big fight. They're, they get along, so I'm told. So it should be a good one. Uh, and then our big signature event for uh, this month is going to be the Craft Beer Festival, September 13th. Uh, we have over 20 craft breweries. We have live music. Uh, it's going to be a great time. We would love for you all to come out and attend. We would love even more if you sponsored it. Uh, and we'll double love you if you sponsor it and volunteer. So any of those things, you can talk to myself or to Carol about. Uh, we'd be happy to have you, and if you have any questions, you can either check our website, chesterfieldchamber.com, or just come see me. would be happy to talk to you. Thanks. Great. Thanks. This, this um, is for a six-month free membership to the Midlothian Tennis Club. Wow. <laughs> Susan Collins, I can tell the dog's on the back. <laughs> oh, no, it's Kelsey. Kelsey! Sorry, Susan. Congratulations. Let's get a picture. Brian Stratton Stadium Chair goes to Mr. Bobby Young of EVB EVB Bank.